BST physics ki request or pugi matungi na simple harmonic motion si ke mata anda kara high view ko hai dana irak pa message dugi tamakta samjha bani simple harmonic motion so simple I'm just writing here simple harmonic motion and object is set to be in simple harmonic motion if number one it moves in a uniform path number two a variable force is acting on it variable force uh, acts on it and number three is the magnitude of the force this force is proportional to this is proportional to the displacement of the mass of the object i'm just writing here m now four condition is the force is always opposite in direction uh, to the displacement and last one is number five is the motion is normally repetitive a continuous round trip back and forth and is always made in equal time periods so these are the conditions to be satisfied for a motion uh, being said to be in simple harmonic an object of mass m suppose this is object of mass m and now with the help of a spring if I pull it by the application of a force this is a variable force the variable force which is being applied must be proportional to the displacement delta x or simply I can also write this as force proportional to x x is the displacement so the force is always opposite in displacement means I can prefix here this force is always negative to the displacement f proportional to negative x round trip means starting from here then it goes up to the maximum displacement is starting from here it goes to the maximum displacement this is the point and then it comes back it comes back at this position initial position again then it passes through this point and it goes up to this then in the negative direction it goes up to this and then again it will come back at this initial position so it will come back at this initial position so this is a, a reference circle and hence it is a round trip so i write here a round trip back and forth back and forth in this case here if you release the spring executing a simple harmonic motion 
to and the for, forth. So this is the call back and forth is always met in equal time periods and uh, there should be a time okay in one complete cycle of oscillation the variable force will be proportional directly to the displacement and one negative sign will be there because of uh, the force is always opposite in direction to the displacement occurs proportionality changing into equality this will be equal to f equals the proportionality constant is k where k is uh, where k is some constant pro for the time being general condition for the simple harmonic motion i can also write f equals mass into acceleration this is the very famous formula of newton's second law f equals m into acceleration as you see this is dv by dt dv is the change in the velocity acceleration as you see acceleration is defined by the rate of change of velocity so i can write here dv by dt again i can also write this as put d by dt as it is and instead of v i can write uh, v is the rate of change of position or displacement so i can write this as dx by dt dx by dt so ultimately this will be equal to this will be equal to m then this is d square x by what is this dt square d square x by dt square so putting this in equation number one use this in equation number one then this one will look like the force equals uh, minus k then x this implies f equals f is m then d square x by dt square equals minus times kx so from here uh, I'm just coming back d square x by dt square which is equal to minus times k by m into x put this as equal to d square x by dt square equals minus times k by m may be put in the form omega square x where you see k is a constant m is also constant the mass of the uh, object which is executing the simple harmonic motion is a constant and the k which was the proportionality constant both are constants so constant divided by a constant turns out to be another constant but this constant now i put it as omega square it is also not omega but omega square why omega square is for the conformity of the equation because on the uh, left hand side you will see not dx by dt but it is d square x by dt square so finally d square x by dt square this is equal to omega square x where omega is another constant which is known as the spring constant uh, all of you have understood what we discussed now. 
this is for the simple harmonic motion uh, an object which undergoes a repetitive to and fro motion uniformly at equal intervals of time and it is under the action of some variable force and this force is directly proportional to the displacement produced and the force is also in a direction which is opposite to the displacement magnitude of the force proportional to the displacement direction of the force negative to the displacement means opposite to the displacement so these are some of the conditions that uh, you have to understand basically for understanding the uh, simple harmonic motion